Hi, this is Abhijit and you're watching AB Study Circle. Do like, comment, share and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any video from AB Study Circle. In this video, we are discussing about a question that has been asked in CSVT University exam in 2017. Also, it is the question from the unsolved section of your engineering thermodynamics book written by P.K. Nag. The question is like this, a turbine operates under steady flow conditions receiving steam at the following state, pressure at the receiving right end, pressure 1.2 megapascal, temperature 188 degrees Celsius, enthalpy 2785 kilojoule per kg, velocity 33. 3 meter per second and elevation 3 meter. The steam leaves the turbine at the following state. Pressure 20 kilopascal, enthalpy 2512 kilojoule per kg, velocity 100 meter per second and elevation 0 meter. Heat is lost to the surrounding at the rate of 0.29 kilojoule per second. If the rate of steam flow through the turbine is 0.42 kg per second, what is the power output of the turbine in kilowatt? Okay, so what is power? It is nothing but your work of CV, right? WC, right? Okay, so let's start the question. It's a very direct question. so nothing to worry about the concept simple concept will be applied here P1 your inlet receiving pressure is 1.2 megapascal or it can be written as 1200 kilopascal okay temperature T1 is 188 degree Celsius that can be converted into Kelvin as 461 Kelvin okay your H1 is specific enthalpy right 2785 kilojoule per kg velocity C1 as 33.3 meter per second elevation that is Z1 is 3 meter okay at the outlet P2 is how much 20 kilopascal H2 is 2512 kilojoule per kg velocity is 100 meter per second and Z2 is 0 meter ok also the heat lost to the surrounding that is QCV is minus 0 0.29 kilojoule per second or minus 0 0.29 kilowatt okay and what other thing is given if the rate of steam flow through the turbine right that is mass flow rate M dot is 0 0.42 kJ a kilo uh, kg per second right okay what we have to find out to find WCV in kilowatt okay so we know SFEE as H1 plus C1 square by 2 plus GZ1 plus QCV right is equal to H2 plus C1 square by 2 plus GZ2 plus WCV right in specific terms. Now for kilowatt 
calculation it can be written as m dot h1 plus m dot c1 square by 2000 okay plus m dot gz1 by 1000 plus qcv is equal to m dot h2 plus m dot c2 square by 2000 plus m dot gz2 by 1000 plus wcv ok now everything is in kilowatt terms right now what I will be doing is that see we have h1 given in the question we have c1 we have z1 we have qcv we have h2 we have c2 we have z2 we have to find out wcv just put the values and find the unknown nothing more than that okay so we have 4.0.42 into I'm just putting the values C1 is 33.3 by uh, 2000 it is a square plus uh, M dot is 4, 0.42 into G is 9.8 right meter per second square that is acceleration due to gravity okay Z1 is 3 this is by 1000 this is minus 0. 29 is equal to 0 0.42 into h2 is 25 12 plus 0 0.42 into 100 square by 2000 now this is z2 is 0 meter right so this value will be 0 plus W C V ok if you calculate this you will get W C V as 112.515 kilowatt this is your answer